Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number four. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Okay, so we're going to be taking part in the mid-engine challenge. Experience a display of awesome handling as mid-engine sports cars show off their balance. So we're going to be taking a hatchback. That's extremely unbalanced. The Renault Clio. But I like the Clio, so... Let's go. Inland, Taipan, Diamondback, and Malayan Crate. I think that's how you say that. And if it's not, well, fuck it. We're going with it. Let's get going. This car is going to be beautiful to drive. Let's go. All right, here we go. So we are starting with a 540 car C-Class. Um, good thing that this is the last game in the Forza franchise that uses a weird leveling PI system. This was the first one that had the PI system, but the numbers were weird to the letters. At least the, they fixed the lettering system compared to the last game, but now... The numbers are fucked. <laughs> so, once we get to Forza Motorsport 3 and 4, that stuff, it's all fixed by that point. It's very strange in this game. Surprisingly, this thing is going around the corners fairly easily. Not bad. Whoa! I forgot it's going around here, isn't it? If Google matched up, matched people up by their browsing history, it could be the greatest online dating website of all time. That's a good shout. Because, technically speaking, it would match people based off of your sexual activities. How have I managed to spin a car in this game? How did that car manage to avoid me? So you can get matched with, like, your ideal partner in that department. Then, technically, you also get matched based off of interests, um, activities, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, it'd be a good idea, actually. Google, you should do it. Uh, the upgrade shop is on the map, Jacob. There's, like, a giant-ass spanner. There's, like, ten of them around the map. You look for the spanner icon, and you go and upgrade your car there. How mediocre is the turbocharger in this thing? It's like not even half a bar of pressure, or whatever it is. Someone who says I'll be there in six minutes will normally arrive before someone who says I'll be there in five minutes. Yes, guaranteed. Okay, so apparently that corner is a really sketchy corner for us. Haven't got a lot of downforce, I will admit. Car's good. There's not a lot of downward force helping it stick to the track. Your mum. Bum your mum. Bum your mum. Bum your mum. I love this song.
I don't even know how I found this song, but it just slaps. Not bad. I'm going to save that replay because I want to make sure it's this car that's on the thumbnail for this video. 3,300. Not bad. I'll take it. Let's go to the next one. All right, here we go. Starting grid. Alright. <laughs> that would be a nightmare for the whole world. I don't care. Hey, not bad, Jacob. Did you find that upgrade shop? This thing is so loose on the rear end. We've even added downforce to it as well. I genuinely can't hear my engine noise. I've turned the music up so loud. But I'm enjoying it, and I am vibing. I remember how I found this song now. I searched up a uh, YouTube video on um, how to make a drum and bass track on FL Studio. It didn't go anywhere. Because, like... I didn't understand it, but the song on the actual, like, what they were demonstrating with and what they made, I was like, wow, that slapped. So I saved it. You can tell muscle memory is a big thing when it comes to these racing games. Because I keep just going straight on at that section. Not bad. Banana, bum bum bum. I've spun the car. There you go, Voxel. Stay behind me, thank you. Follow the conga. Let's all do the conga. Let's all do the conga. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. <laughs> Honestly, I'm loving life right now. Fucking brilliant. Oh, that was a bad idea. Because uh, UPS isn't supposed to know what's inside the packages. Because UPS, even though they're delivering it, they aren't supposed to know. They're a delivery service. They're not like Amazon, where they actually know what's in the package from the time you order it to the time it gets to your door. So, it is stupid, though, that they don't put, like... Companies don't tell UPS, oh, this is a very important item. Make sure it gets to them. Kind of thing. They don't do that enough, so. 
There we go. Not bad. 3,400. Getting close to level 11. Not bad. All right. We have seven people watching the stream at the moment. Hello, people. Hopefully, you are enjoying the content. If you are enjoying, feel free to uh, drop a follow. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. And uh, if you're watching on Twitch, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube as well. Every little bit of support is greatly appreciated at the moment. We're trying to hit uh, 3,000 subs on YouTube by the end of the year. And we're also trying to hit uh, 1,000 followers on Twitch by the end of June, which is not going to happen anymore. So we're going to try and get 1,000 by the end of the year. Whoa! Well, the car absolutely snapped there. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have interior camera, does it? This game. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I got hiccups. Ow. Multicolor paint on my skin. <laughs> the silence in the air that I breathe. Ah uh -huh. This is one of my favorite drum and bass songs at the moment. Honestly, Wilkinson's new album is like the peak of drum and bass. And I, I think I could get used to this. Do you think you could get used to this? Oh, shit. That corner is going to mess me up multiple times. I can guarantee it. <laughs> You're not wrong, Aaron. You're not wrong. Could get, I think I could, I think I could get, I think I could, I think I could get used to this, used to this. Whoa, we're halfway there. What? Donkey in a chair. Early, early price today. My 15-year-old self would be appalled to hear how many times I've chosen sleep over sex. My 15-year-old self would be like, why have you not been offered it yet? <laughs> uh, hashtag still a virgin, gang. Nah. I went too fast. I have a right hand for a reason. Ha 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 ha. Used to this, used to this. I remember when we went in. Multicolored paint on my skin. Not bad. And there we go. What a result. 3,400 credits. We're now level 11 as well. We got a re relationship with Mitsubishi. And our Renault Sport Clio is now level 1 as well. I think we finished that uh, championship as well. So we should end up with a car. We got the 1995 Toyota Border MR2 Turbo T-Bar. And four and a half grand. Nice wang. 
Oh, look at that. That's beautiful, actually. I really like the look of that. And it's convertible, technically. You can take the roof panels out. That's pretty cool. Alrighty-o, we are here for the six-cylinder show-off. Uh, this is the uh, very special-looking page for it. Uh, we're starting off with Sunset Peninsula, Infield Short, Tsukuba Circuit, and then New York Circuit. New York's obviously made a return in this game. Uh, but it's actually modified slightly for this one. It's got a little um, kink in it on that back straight. Which is actually different again when we go to the next game. Because the Motorsport 3, I believe, has a kink on the main straight and also the back straight as well. So, it's like a little progression. But uh, yeah, let's get started with Sunset Peninsula. Alright, here we go. Sunset Peninsula infield. This is the infield short though, so it doesn't actually have that... Extra part. This is a, a slight variation to the main track that was in uh, Motorsport 1. What you're running from. I'm sorry, but Gold Dust by DJ Fresh is like... Such a classic. Go, go. Go, go. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So I had uh, a Gold Dust remix, and then the song after that was um, Hot Right Now, original, <laughs> that came straight up afterwards. That's pretty cool. A, 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 O, A, O. Ooh. Was this... I'm pretty sure this was like the first song where Rita Ora actually became mainstream. Whoa, that was... Uh... Oh my god. That was dangerous. I made a good point of saying that this car's unstable. Because it's unstable. Ooh. speed down. You know you're only in it because it's hot right now. Hot right now. Turn it up right now. Want it right now. Ew, ew. Hot right now. Hot right now. History classes are only going to get longer and harder as time goes on. I think history in about 100 years time is going to be an absolute pain in the ass when they try and explain what the fuck Facebook was. Or the abomination of TikTok. Once TikTok shuts down, imagine trying to explain that in the future. Yeah, there was an app where we had absolute morons dancing. It was basically a social experiment. <laughs> Pretty much. 3,500? Not bad. I'll take it. Alright. Sukuba. My third favourite track in the whole wide world. And it only comes third behind... Magello and uh, Suzuka. That was the other one. Need you, that I need you, I need you, that I need you, I need you, 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 I need you, that I need you, I need you, that I need you, 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 I need you the most. Where are you now? I don't know why, right? I hate Justin Bieber's own music. So stuff like 
any song that Justin Bieber's ever made on his own, I've hated. It's horrible. But I have a confession. Any song that Justin Bieber has ever done with another artist that's gone big actually really fucking slaps. So you know that song Stay by The Kid Leroy with Justin Bieber? Absolutely fucking slaps. It's a brilliant song. Where Are You Now by Justin Bieber featuring Skrillex. Fucking amazing. That one uh, Cold Water by Major Lazer. Fucking amazing song. He can't... For some reason, whatever... Whether he's making the music and producing the sound for his own songs or someone else's. <coughs> whatever producer he's getting is really crap. Like that song, Sorry. Is it too late now to say that? Fucking trash. So bad. It's like he, he would be so much more popular and so much better. If you got someone else, like a big name artist to produce all the songs. And he might actually be quite an enjoyable artist, to be perfectly honest. Because he's not bad at singing, I'll be honest. Like, this song is quite relaxing. But it's not great. Are you now that I need ya? My Bluetooth speaker is currently flashing like... I've got no music. It's just cycling through the same colours. Sleep should be rolled over like, oh, you got 20 hours of sleep. Cool, man, you don't need to sleep for the next three days. That would be fucking good. Because then I could do subathons. If I could sleep... For 24 hours beforehand and then be able to do three days non-stop for a subathon, that'd be fucking brilliant. No no no. No 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 no no. Not bad. There goes to Cuba. Alright, let's go. Run over. <laughs> do 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 do. Snapchat is ruining all the progress we made on getting people to take horizontal videos. Did people even take vertical videos before Snapchat became a thing? Because I know Snapchat's been out since like the 2000s. Early 2000s. Easily. We got some subway. Oh, yeah, we should uh, spend this next lap and work out. Exactly what kind of sponsorships we're seeing on this. So we got Nissan sponsorships for here. BMP. Uh, more Nissan sponsorships. We got Bosch. Microsoft Xbox 360. The Virgin Building is still there. Uh, Xbox 360. Microsoft. Forza Motorsport 2 is all over there. And now it's the Nissan... What Nissan is that? Sentra. That was the X-Trail before being advertised on there, wasn't it? Toys R Us is still there, though. Such a sad sight. <laughs> got Casio, Subway, and Microsoft there. There actually isn't the kink on this track. There was one on the actual diagram, but there wasn't a chicane for that. Do, 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 do. That sucks. Do, 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 do
Lil, lil, lil. Oh, no, 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 no. I had something out my window and I looked. <laughs> that is uh, ADHD brain for you. I'm telling you now, this is awesome. I'm so happy that we're playing through Forza Motorsport 2. I've been waiting for this day for a while. Since, um, obviously, the last recording session for Forza Motorsport 1 was, I believe, two and a bit weeks ago. So, we've had quite a bit of time before playing the game again. It's quite fun. Also, you're not outside my window, Aaron, before you say anything. <laughs> no one can climb up to my window. It's physically impossible. Mm. That was perfectly timed. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I'm going to save this replay just in case I want to use this one. I might end up using this one. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, 3,400. We're now level 12. And we got new Sylvia models and transmission driveline upgrades by Renault Sport. So, all that stuff is now discounted for uh, Renault stuff. Also, there's not a woman outside my window. I'm not dreaming, okay? <laughs> and that is the Tommy Kira R34. Oh, ho, ho. this thing was a beast. I think we used it for like four episodes of Falls of Most War 1. So this one's, this one's got a place in my heart. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.